caught in the crossfire. It's caught in the crossfire. Yo, what is up? We are doing a video today. It's gonna to be talking about how do you carry through rotations when your team sucks dick, which is every game, and when when not to specifically do cookie cutter builds that like a lot of people use. So like for instance, one of them is Renekton will typically go like Black Cleaver Titanic. In this game, I end up going like basically full tank because, uh, well, look at their team comp. So they have fucking, how do I not fuck up this camera? They have uh, Shanna, Mumu, Braum, triple tank. And what do we have? We have four squishies. Am I ever going to be able to do damage to their backline? They have a Vagar and a Tristana, right? Super, super safe carries. I'm never going to be able to do damage. So what is the point of building more damage, right? So my goal is just to get as tanky as I can and try to support my team. So more into the matchup specifically, basically, uh, whenever you're playing against a Shen, the most important thing, actually, I'll touch on this after this. So I want to push in the Shen and try to pressure continuously. And one thing we see is we have a Moomoo's blue warded. So we go in and I help my jungler invade. We end up getting the kill here because Shen's pushed in. He can't rotate fast enough. I on purposely KS this because I need to carry this game. Not my retard team. I need to carry this game. I KS this shit. So about the Shen matchup, Shen, you want to, he has no wave clear. So what you want to do is you want to permanently push him in the whole game. You want to make sure that as, as soon as he hits six, in, uh, you want to keep him under the tower at all times. You want to make sure that if he wants to teleport bot lane and he wants to do anything that he's going to lose his tower or he's gonna get the tower's gonna get chunked, right? You wanna make sure that he has to make it a, a decision. So right now I have double buffs from killing a Mumu. So every even trade is a good trade because I have the health regen from red buff. I want to pressure. This is I think I make a mistake right here. This is like my, I make like two big mistakes in this game. This mistake, I a Mumu passed top side. I should have realized this because both uh, wolves and Gromp are up. And I greedily think I could stay around because I have red buff and I have the health regen. I end up dying to fucking Amumu. Fuck you, Amumu. Whatever. Speed this up. I TP back to lane because it's early. And I can do this. And I know that he's low. And I have, uh, a, as you can see, a D-Blade and a Ruby Crystal. There's no fucking way Amumu kills me. They, they both have their flash down. There's no way I die. I can just double dash out. Even if I get chain CC'd, right? So right now... Uh, I'm just freezing this, trying to deny as many minions as I can, because I know Shen's gonna try and TP, so he TPs. And then, I just, Shen, you can't die as Shen in Renekton. And Shen shouldn't die either, ever. It's really a fucking boring lane. But, I wanna trade with this guy, I wanna get him low, because I have more inbuilt sustain. I make another mistake here. So he could've killed me here, but he messed up, because he's a dumbass. So I wanna use my Q to sustain, I have better sustain than Shen. I have infinite sustains technically because of my Q and I'm resourceless, right? I just want to be safe and wait for my cooldowns, vamp up. He's gonna push this into me. There's something I can really do right now. I don't hold my cooldowns. So I kind of get a little freeze off here, right? Uh, my bot lane. Oh, they kill bot lane. Okay, cool. Don't really care about them right now. I think I can kill him here, but he has this uh, fucking auto blocker thingy up so I can't waste my W into that right now I have control of the wave still because I have Q heal and he doesn't I he has flash so I'm I'm trying to bait him into using like flash taunt right here in some stupid play but he ends up not doing it so I'm like okay this guy either has to back or I can get a Q heal off the wave and stay here still so cool I stay here I'm just trying to vamp up. I think six. I'm like, okay, even if I get 2v1, they, they can't, they can't do shit. So I'm trying to look for something to farm. I need to keep being fucking pro proactive and make sure that I'm farming shit. I go over, uh, I try to get the scuttle and I'm debating like, do I back after this? But I see how much I vamp off scuttle between Dorn's blade and my Q. And then the fruit happens to spawn at the same time and my thought process is I have enough health and rage that I can heal with Q and my D blade and just stay in lane because Shen's 
he can't kill me once I'm six. He doesn't have a, a, a combat ultimate, technically, right? So Shen is six now. The lane changes. You want to just push him in permanently. And the, the biggest thing now is that Infernal Drake's up, right? So I don't want to be uh, wasting my teleport, no matter what. So I want to keep pushing this shit in. Not use my W into a stun. Wait for him. Dash on him. Maybe get it. Yeah. Dude, this camera sucks, Major Dick. So I'm just trying to pressure him. Every every little even trade is good because I have more sustain than the Shen. I just want to make sure that I can get to this Infernal fight when this Infernal fight happens because it's going to happen. So we're pushing it. We'll speed this up a bit. We're pushing Shen in. Yada, yada, yada. I don't really, I can't die to Moo Moo Shen. I just can't. So I'm trying to take even trades and just whittle him down and maybe get a dive under the turret. So another Q, another nice big heal. I'm just looking to see if he wastes taunt. Cause that's the big thing. So he taunts here, but I don't get enough shit. I forget what I do exactly right here. Oh, so I still have control of the wave because I have Q, so I think I just Q heal here. Yeah, I Q heal with, with that. I think he tries to fight me here. Yeah, he tries to fight me. He's stupid. He wasted taunt. He has no way to get out of this fight now. So, I just kill him. He's stupid. Cool. Let's fast forward this. He has TP. I don't want to stay here and take the tower. He's TP. It's a waste of time. I'm not going to get the tower, so I need to just move on and back. I need to reset because what's up? Infernal's up, right? So I need to reset. I can't TP to this wave. Let's pause it. I cannot. This wave is pushing to me. And I'm I'm pretty sure. Is he TP? Or no, the, the cannon. That's what happens. The cannon gets fucked up. So this wave is going to push to me. But no matter what, I cannot TP to this. Even if I'm gonna lose minions, because Infernal's up. And Shen, he can TP, and doesn't fucking matter, because he's his ultimate, right? So I cannot TP to this. So what happens? I'm just trying to trade with him, just trying to shove it in. Cool. I can't, I can't kill him, unless he's stupid. Like, he tried to fight me earlier, I can't kill him. Cool. I'm just trying to pressure tower. See if you waste taunt. Because if you waste taunt, then I can auto W, Q, get a good trade off, and then double dash out before I take a lot of damage. I'm just trying to proxy him. Keep as much pressure on the map as I can right now. Because Infernal's up. I want Moomoo Moo coming top. I want Moomoo Moo to gank me. Because if he's ganking me, he's not ganking my retard teammates, right? So my mid, my whole bot side of the map is getting fucking destroyed. Like my, my mid laner, my... Uh, bot lane and my support are all getting destroyed. I know this Kane is not that dumb because he's doing work and he had a nice invade on a Moo Moo earlier. I hit the vision ward and I see that the blue buff's up. So like, let's take this blue buff. Let's see what else I can pressure. Pressure the blue buff. I go back up top. Blue buff's really good on Renekton because of the cooldown reduction. The cooldown reduction is really good on Renekton early, especially because of Kindle Gem too. So this will give me more pushing power with the cooldown reduction. This guy is, I don't know what the fuck his deal is, man. He E's in, so he has no escape now. So I'm just Renekton mechanics, right? Just weaving my autos. I get his flash. I maybe could have flash followed and killed him, but I don't think it's worth because I want my flash for the Infernal fight. So we go up. I'm thinking about diving him, and then he happens to fucking shield as soon as I do it. I mechanically misplay there. If instead of double Eing, if I Q'd, I would have killed him, I think. But whatever. So I'm low, but. I don't know if I want to back right now because I see a Moo uh, mid lane. I believe. I believe I see a Moo mid lane. Yeah, so he shows on a ward. So I'm like, I want to vamp up and just stay in lane for a little bit. See what? See if, see if I can sustain off the scuttle. So if not, I end up backing. And I'm like, okay, well, worst case scenario is this lane's pushing to me. Once again, I cannot teleport to this wave. Shen has low wave clear. He's not going to be able to get this into my tower in time because it's a cannon wave, right? So, I get my cleaver. I have a huge power spike right now. He's sitting on fucking Tabi in a cloth. He's going to get like Tiamat on his back, right? 
I'm 2-0, up 20 CS. I have to walk back to this wave. I cannot teleport. If you teleport this wave, you're fucking trolling because Infernal's up and it's fucking Shen. So, we come back to our tower. Dude, this camera sucks ass. I need to use plays on TV. I just want to keep pressuring Shen, no matter what. Like, I, I miss one minion there? Cool. I don't care about that one minion because the pressure is more important. Keep pressuring this Shen. I want to, as soon as he back, he's probably going to back a TP here. I just want to push the wave in and try to get damage on the tower. So that I can have priority to Infernal. So that if he, if the wave's under his tower and he ultimates to the dragon, he's going to take turret damage. Right? So he DPs here. Cool. He's going to hit the tower. And then I believe I spam ping Infernal. Yeah. And then I teleport in. I'm like, I, I have to go for this because they're going for this. My team just died. We look for a play. And then Shen kills the Vega here because he gives me double dash. So whatever. Unfortunate, right? The most important thing here is not the kills, it's the infernal, it's the scaling. We have fucking double 80 carry. We have an 80 carry mid lane for some reason. I don't know. Don't don't ask me. Most important thing is infernal. I don't care about the kills. I want my jungler alive so he can smite it. And he does the dumbest shit here. Like, holy shit, this guy's so fucking dumb. So we're doing red buff, and he, he has one smite charge, and he smites the red buff to take it away from our mid laner instead of securing uh, infernal. Whatever. So, because I know this, that he doesn't have smite, I ping a smite, I'm like, you're a dumbass. I don't want to be in the Baron, I don't want to be in the uh, Dragon Pit, I want to make sure that I can zone anybody relatively close to the pit, so that they don't seal it with something. Like, if Vagar seals with a fucking W, I would rage, right? I just want to zone, I don't even want to help with the Dragon. So, I help Zaya push in the wave and reset, she's low mana, she probably, she's sitting on a call field, she probably wants to back, but, you know, she's... Fucking dumb, so. I don't know, maybe I typed, oh, I typed to my friend there. We go up, I I'm, I believe I don't have a good buy right now. So I'm like, there's no point to back. Let's just stay and keep pressuring. So once again, Shen, I don't care about like the one or two minions I miss. I just want to keep pressuring. Sure, dude, you don't win this trade, so. I believe I kill him here with dash, W, ultimate cancel? No. With Q. There we go. So just mechanically, I play Renekton a lot, so I know how to combo and auto space and, you know, orb walk, whatever. I get tower, which is really good. Number one thing with Shen, push him in, take his tower. Yeah. He's no way player. Look, look at it. I have a full, he has fucking Tiamat. I have a full cleaver. And then I believe I get a full random wins on this back. Cool, so my bot lane's fighting. I know the jungler's bot side. I want to continue to pressure. So I start taking Gromp. Take all his farm, take everything. Everything. Look at my farm right now. It's 15 minutes, I have 130 CS. That's super good. It's not perfect, but it's really, really good. I back. I get Randowins, right? Yeah, so I get Randowins with one buy. So right now, I'm already ahead of the curve in terms of damage. I don't need more damage right now. I can still one-shot Tristana with just Black Cleaver and Vagar with just Black Cleaver, right? So the best thing for me to buy is just more tankiness because I just want to survive longer. I have four people who do retarded amounts of damage. All I need to do is survive. So typically, once you take tower as top lane, you want to swap with your bot lane so you can go take the tower, the tier one, if it's not down. But fucking Vayne and Brand are retarded and they don't understand this, so I have to go back top lane. Thank God Shen pushes very slowly, so I don't miss anything. Let's speed this up. Cool, I get the top wave, push this out, I'll speed it up. Push this out. I just want to keep pressuring 24-7. Anything up in the jungle, let's take it. Nope, okay cool, I gotta get a ward. My jungler dies. I, so, I'm not afraid of this 2v2, and my body language says that, right? I don't back up when a Moomoo comes at me, and I fight them here, so they think that they lose this fight. I don't know if they win this fight. I don't care to know. All I want to do is waste their time, right? Sure, they get my cooldown, but what is it? It's a cooldown, right? It's going to be back in 60 seconds. What do I do? I waste their time, and we end up getting a turret for it, I believe. So, it's worth Notice my body language. My body language, I didn't back up. I hold my ground. 
So they think they can't fight me. I don't know if they can fight me. But that's what I do, right? So my mid laner dies, and whatever. I just kill Vagar. I make a mis I make a little mistake here. I think the correct decision here is to push in the mid wave. But I go for Rift Herald instead. Either or, like you're still getting pressure on something, right? I'm pressuring an objective. I speed this up. I kill Rift. Cool. I believe my gold is fucked. I believe I don't have a good buy, so I'm just like, let's just stay and pressure more. This is a really, really bad TP. Number one thing to do against Shen, don't TP bot lane. No matter what, basically what happens is you TP bot lane, cool, you make it a numbers advantage. Well, what does Shen do? He gets to TP bot lane for free, and he puts a shield on his ally that you think you're going to be able to kill, right? So what ends up happening? This is my second big mistake of the game. This is where my two deaths come from. My bot lane has already proven to me that they're dumb as fuck, and they don't help me here. So I die. Cool. Don't TP bot lane against the Shen. It's fucking dumb. Unless he does it first, you know. Don't initiate against the Shen. So our jungler cleans it up. He's not retarded. This is good. So I know that. I know I can play off my jungler and not my mid bot lane. I just want to continue to pressure. My team is pressuring. I want to pressure. We push the shit in. Cool. Look to take everything. Look to take all the farm. Right? It's 20 minutes. I almost have 180 farm. That's super good for, for 20 minutes, right? Take all the shit. I summon Rift Herald because I want to continue to pressure the map. I see that mid is mid. I see everybody except the Moo Moo, and I know I can 2v1, so I don't give a shit about Moo Moo. I want to pressure. And also, the Rift Herald was uh, expiring. So, I know Blue Buff's coming up. I think I get pinged that Vagar is rotating right now, so I double dash out, and then he shows like right now. So I'm like, alright, get me the fuck out of here. I believe I don't have a good buy, so I just want to keep pressuring shit. I push this wave in. Push this next wave in. I get the tower. And then I'm just looking for, I guess Shen ulted bot lane and killed himself, like a dumbass. Take, these are zero, zero, zero variance plays. No variants. I'm not rolling the dice whether I'm gonna get a kill by teleporting bot lane, right? I'm just okay. Shen makes a decision to go bot lane. I take his turret, right? And the blue buff, right? So I deny mid lane. I deny the jungler. Like I dominated this whole top side by taking all the jungler. So Moomoo's like starved. I take scuttle. I take everything. I see Tristana go top side. The bot tier two's up, so I want to go split bot lane for the rest of the game. I ping my team, I say, go top, you retards. They do it. I'm just pressuring. Keep, same thing, it, it doesn't change throughout the game. Just keep pushing the Shen in. Don't let him get free ultimates off on the map for no, like, for free. I don't know where the team is. I think a Mumu shows, so I'm just kind of scared. I see him TP, so I cancel it. He's a dumbass. Cool. He can't fight me. And even if we go even in trades, I outstain. I have a full visage now. Notice I'm going full tank, because that's all I need to do. I just need to be tanky. I don't need to do damage. This kid can't kill me. If they send three people, they can't kill me. I'm so ahead of the curve. I have 200 farm at 25 minutes. That's super good. So I see like three rotate bottom. I'm trying to get this Krugs without dying. Vayne's doing stupid shit. Ignore Vayne. Vayne's dumb. Take all the shit. There's no reason to pressure here because uh, our mid laner's dead and nobody else on our team's pressuring. Don't pressure if nobody else is pressuring. It's another good tip. I get Scuttle. I have no good back uh, in terms of gold, right? I, I think I'm on uh, like 1500. There's no reason to back here. We try to kill Shen, but you know, Shen's fucking tanky now, so it's whatever. Can't kill him. I tell my team, let me split bot, go to Baron. If they come, I type this. Make sure you type this. I tell them, let me split two Baron if they come, right? They send more than two. So there's two here. And what do I want to do? I see a Moo Moo. I see a Moo Moo. Hold up. I see a Moo Moo fall on the sword, right? So what do I do? I go back out of the bush and I fucking taunt her. I taunt her, right? I want her to fight me. I want three people here. They're pinging Baron. They know it's good. So I think we're getting five man. So I alt here. I think I'm, I thought I was dead, but they don't charge. So I want to waste their time and go back in. 
and, and keep baiting them to fight, right? Because Baron's up, and we're going to get a free Baron for nothing. Especially, I have Flash, I believe. So, I'm 100% safe. So, we get Baron for free. Cool. Pressure this shit. Keep pressuring. I can't die. I'm full fucking tank, and I'm ahead of the curve. I back. I got a GA. Like, there's no way I'm fucking dying now. And Shen can't deal with me. Two people can't deal with me. So, just keep pressuring this. There's no reason to group. Their team fight is retarded. Just out macro them the whole game. That's all I have to do. I'm at that point now where I'm almost 100 CS over the Shen, right? All I have to do now, he can't kill me under the turret. So, I just hit the turret and just take it in front of him. I just want to make sure that nobody else is coming. So, when I do this, I don't die. Brand comes and helps me out. Cool. My team should be mid. I just ignore Shen and just hit the turret. He can't kill me, so I don't give a shit. I have GA. We kill Shen. He's a dumbass. Cool. My team wants to do Dragon for some reason. Yeah, my team wants to do Dragon for some reason with no jungler. But I remember that... Uh, I just want to flash on Vagar. I forget why I do that exactly, honestly. I think their carries are dead or something, so that's why I'm here. Yeah, so the carries are dead, and I'm with Brand. I'm just thinking, let's just get this inhibitor back the fuck off. Cool, so we trade inhibitor for virtually nothing. And we get a double infernal. Why did it? Cool, so we back, we reset. Now I want to go topside because the bot inhibitor is down and it's going to push by itself. I see Shen, cool. Push the lane in, continue to pressure. Always pressuring 24-7. Mumu can't do shit. Braum can't do shit. Notice my body language. I'm not backing off. I want them to think that they can't fight me. I want them to think that maybe somebody's in the bush waiting, right? So, I'm just out macroing them. I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm just hitting fucking turrets. They can't kill me. I'm too tanky. This is why being tank is so good, especially in this meta. I don't want to fight this. I want to disengage. I believe I get out here. I'm just I'm just trying to stall as long as I can. I believe I flash on Tr or I kill Triss here. And that saves our vein. I'm just trying to live. I have GA still. I'm just trying to stall so my mid lane Zaya can get the mid turret right now. I believe I do get out here. Yeah, so I managed to just fucking narrowly live. And remember, I'm still fucking farming. Never stop pressuring something, right? Pressuring the rates. Getting getting some sort of income. Same thing, go top lane. Inhibitor's down. I want to pressure the top side. No reason to go bot lane. It's going to push by itself. My, my uh, team will go mid lane. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Cool. I go top side. I'm just looking to, to take this fucking turret right in front of his face. He can't do shit about it. He can't do shit. I don't care if my team's dying. They're stupid. I don't care how many times my team dies. So notice notice my body language there. I actually stop my movement to make a move think that Oh, once again, I can't fight this Renekton. I need to back the fuck up. I get the inhibitor. And we get blue buff. Cool. Even if my team gets wiped there, we have double inhibitor. That's, that's fucking worth, especially for Baron. So now, I push this in again and reset. I'm full build now. I just want to reset so I can get bot lane for Baron. I remember that the inhibitor was spawning soon because the we got inhibitors sort of lopsided in timing. So I knew this one was going to spawn. I So... Hold up, let me back this up. So I notice my team's fighting, and I'm thinking to myself, alright, well, maybe I can get a good TP off, because they're stupid, they should let me pressure, right? But you know, solo queue people make mistakes. So I TP here, but I realize, I realize this shit is fucking gone. My team just lost the fight, right? There's no way, we're, they have such a better team fight, and we're already down one player. No, no reason to go and teleport here. What's the better play? So, I just want to pressure. I want to say, if they're going to Baron, I'm going to take their inhibitor. That's it, right? So, they either... What they end up doing is, they go for Baron, right? And, the, and uh, I believe somebody dies here. 
Okay, so my mid laner dies. So Vayne's stalling them, and this is what I want. Oh, Vayne kills Triss, or something. Vayne kills somebody. Oh, no, no. So they're trying to do Baron, and they don't send anybody back for me. So I'm like, okay, this is perfect. I can just take inhibitor for free. I know that as long as one of their hyper carries doesn't come back, that I can't die. Their, their three tanks can't kill me. They, they can't even 3v1 me, so it's like, whatever. I don't care if they do Baron, that's fine, because I trade inhibitor for it, and that's the best value that I can get out of that situation, right? Now push this in. Push this in until they get Baron. They kill Baron, I'm like, okay, now I need to back up. So I back up, I try to get double dash, I don't get it, but... So we have a lot of pressure in their base, right? And, uh, let me swap camera. We have a lot of pressure in their base, and, if, and Elder's up. So we want to be pressuring this Elder Baron. Elder Dragon, <laughs> fuck. So, we get in the pit, we have pressure in their base, so they can't really answer this, but they do end up doing it because our brand goes mid lane for some reason. I just want to zone. I just want to zone right now. I can't die, they're tanks, I'm full tank too, like, they can't do shit. Arcane goes two in for some reason. Our team, like, look at, look, look at, uh, look at where our team is. Our team is nowhere near. This is stupid engage. Bro, you're full fucking damage. I'm full tank with gargoyle and a GA. I can't die here. This is stupid. So our jungler dies, right? We, uh, I hate this client. Our jungler dies. I back ping everybody. I say, this is stupid. Get off this because we don't have smite. And I'm just trying to peel my team. So let's slow this down. I'm thinking the, the only way we win this fight is if I insta-kill one of their carries, Tristana or Vegar, right? So I flash on, I believe, Tristana. Okay, Tristana. I get knocked back, but I zone her out of the fight, and that's the most important part. She gets zoned, and she's low, and my team cleans up. Bane gets a nice condemn. I finish it off with a stun, and that's over. It's, it's, they, they have such low damage that if... if uh, one of their two carries goes down, that we just win the fight, because we have so much damage on our team. That's how these team comps generally work. If you have a lot of tanks, you want to protect your carries. If you have a lot of carries, you'll win if you kill one of their carries on the other team, right? So we killed Tristana, and there's no way we lose that fight. Cool. So this game is basically over. We just pressure mid, because they're all dead. We get inhibitor. I have nothing to buy, so I don't back, I believe. We just take Elder. And then I say... So, Kane trades his Slash for Tristana Flash. I say worth, because she's the only way they win this game. I say team, go top lane. I'm gonna go bot lane, and we just shove minions. That's all you have to do at this point. Once you get triple and hip or double and hip, all you have to do is just push minions. You don't even have to fight people. So I'm just trying not to get picked. That's all that matters. I'm waiting for my team to pressure. Waiting. I push the lane. I don't know why Brand. Brand's always with me. Brand. Brand loves me, dude. I'm just trying to stall. I'm just trying to push minions. That's all I want to do. So we lose our jungler. They lose their jungler. We get a double kill. So I'm thinking to myself, uh, we can just group now, and we're gonna get the triple and hip. And any engage is a good engage, right? If I if we kill one of their carries, the game's over. So I go for I go for Vagar. I'm gonna slow this down. I go for Vagar. All I need to do is just soak damage and zone their carries, right? That's all I need to do. Problems is fucking useless against Ben. I get my GA popped. I don't care. I'm full tank, right? I I'm basically full tank. I have a black cleaver and that's it. And then we win the game. And it's pretty simple. And that's sort of like if I built full damage here, or if I went like Titanic, it's unnecessary because I'm not gonna be dealing my damage in these team fights, right? All my job is just to Get a stun on Tristana, or uh, Vagar, and or peel my team if they dive super hard. That's all I have to do, and that's how you could win games by literally just out macroing people because they're dumb, right? And this goes up all the way into like Diamond Three before people actually understand like how to macro properly. I didn't do anything fancy on Renekton. I just played towards the win conditions, right? Push Shen in early, always pressure, take all the jungle farm, make sure that you're getting a cast early, right? So I got ahead. And then just know what to pressure. Know that if two people come bot side, then we can do Baron for free and stuff like that. So this is gonna be the end of the video, but if you guys enjoyed it, feel free to like, subscribe, uh, 
and there's gonna be a lot more content coming out about this type of stuff about the macro and i really enjoy talking about this stuff because like on like reddit on summer school reddit and stuff like that a lot of people don't talk about this shit and i feel like it's really really important but anyways thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video